Cody viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video in order to break up the videos that I've done for GTA 5. I've stopped playing this game for a little bit, came back to playing it, and, well, one of the things I've had was trying to reacquaint myself with the controls. This game is definitely fairly detailed, and I want to get better at playing it because I'm trying to explore the map more and open it up because really in any Assassin's Creed, if you fully explore the map and get everything open, it's a lot easier to move around and fast travel than just using standard land travel. Which is what I like about Assassin's Creed to some extent. You gotta put in the work, open up the areas, synchronize everything, and you will then be able to just move around freely. In this case, I found a potential artifact in the city, I believe, is Buckingham, and trying to get into this church in order to get this artifact and it's kind of difficult like i said the controls and everything you kind of got to get used to and it really you got to think but once you've mastered certain things it is a little easier to play <sighs> i had ivor blend in with these monks in order to see if I can open a door and not get caught by any of the soldiers hanging around here. One of the things I forgot about is the Odin vision, which I eventually did figure out and used to my benefit. Ooh, I kind of successfully passed by a guard while hanging out with some monks. So I kind of had to look up how to do certain controllers. And so, yeah, once I got looked up those controllers, I managed to get into the church in Buckingham. Again, this is Buckingham. Find and explore King Burgred's hideout. Find and explore King Burgred's hideout. <sighs> Steady on. No blocking the path. Move on. Shit. Now that I got inside, the memorial note I really didn't care about, just trying to find a way to get to where I wanted was really a pain. And it's just one of those things where, yeah, like I said, the controls and trying to figure stuff out, not really conductive. So I use this. I can unlock that, which is not going to do me any good. But, yeah, the door is available to open, as is the other door if I wanted to. But the armor I want is above me. And now I got to figure out how to get that. And this just makes it easier. Like I said, I, it's not a lot of fun. Torch, got that lit. Ah, yeah, I can kind of see what's going on. Yeah, it, it just was difficult overall. I did see the ladder and I took different attempts to get to it. Finally, I realized I'm just going to use the Odin vision and see what I can do.
all that work. And yeah, it, be honest with you, wasn't worth it. That's one of the things I kind of have a little bit of a gripe with. I spend a lot of time dunsing around and doing stuff. Yeah, I can look it up online and find out how to do it better. But one of the things I, like I said, I've been doing when I'm playing Assassin's Creed is I try and get to the um, synchronization points, travel around, open things up so I can move quickly throughout the world. I mean, if you found this video informative, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games, and I'm varying them. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon. If you've gotten this far, thank you. Watches all the way through help. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.